So Halo Studios just made a major overhaul to one of the most important modes in Halo's history, Infection. That is now that we have Alpha Zombies and a refresh to the Infection mode in Halo Infinite. Guys, if you like this type of informational videos, tap like and subscribe. Always appreciate it, but let's get right back into it. So, what is this big deal about? Well, the thing is that like, Infection is probably one of the least played modes in Halo Infinite. And that's really just because of how Infection really played out in Infinite. It just wasn't really that fun. And the reason why Infection wasn't really that fun in Halo Infinite is one, is that it really just kind of focused on you just surviving for the most part. and didn't really, really reward players for actually getting involved with the game a whole lot. So it just a lot of hiding and not a lot of like attacking. If you're a human player, so obviously you're a zombie player, you're trying your best to attack but when everyone has these you know, smoke screen shields or whatever you want to call them and they you know or can be taken out as quickly as one shot like that it just lent itself to just being like very standoffish kind of boring and not really that engaging and it lent itself to actually being one of the least played modes in halo infinite which is sad because infection is one of those iconic modes in halo that started way 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 back in the Halo 2 days, and I was there when I had to use the honor system to switch over to the zombie team. But now it looks like things are certainly making a huge improvement when it comes to Halo Infinite infection mode here. Bringing back alpha zombies and a refresh with new maps, refreshing the modes and the gameplay mechanics. So it's gonna be like a completely new version of infection coming into Halo Infinite. So let's just kind of go through this blog real quick so we can kind of give you all the information and see what it's actually all about. So yeah, alpha zombies, a fan, favorite infection mode of alpha zombies has returned if you guys don't know what zombie alpha zombie is basically it is one main zombie who's kind of like the one that can like actually take a lot of damage and actually has some decent weaponry but moves at a slower pace generally and you have your beta zombies which tend to have a lot more speed a lot less gravity but have basically no health to them so it's a give and take where basically the alpha zombies are to kind of just like break through people's barriers a little bit in a way a little bit easier than like a beta zombie would but you can see right here that they uh, state the way how this whole mode will play out where the spartans the humans will spawn with a sidekick and a bulldog with a with the equipment of a thruster with three uses in it and then the infected will have an energy sword 10 110 percent movement speed 110 percent uh sprint speed scaler uh, jump height is going to be up by 10, 110% and also gravity scaler is at 80% you should be able to float a little bit more as well and uh, active camo intensity fully visible with no camo. But one of the key gameplay mechanics of infection previously in Halo Infinite was the last man standing, the last Spartan standing section where you become extra powerful, you have a shotgun I believe has unlimited ammo and you have an overshield as well. So basically you can take a few hits as well. And the fun thing about that is that you try to see how long you can survive as the last Spartan standing when you're like crazy overpowered, you have all these zombies flying at you. It's kind of game breaking, but also kind of fun at the same time. Well, that wasn't really fun in current infection either because there was a 30 second time limit. And if zombies were just not charging you at that time, you just weren't getting any points and it just wasn't really like that fun because like kind of the whole aspect of zombies and the original original intention of why it was even popular in the first place is because you want to be like the last person standing and see how long you can survive against actual human players compared to like pve kind of stuff that we normally see when it comes to these type of modes that's what makes it really fun and engaging and halo infinite's version kind of took that away from us which again led it to infection being one of the least popular modes but now that has changed now when it comes to the refreshed version of Alpha Zombies here. Let me switch over to the screen so I can show you what I'm talking about. So when you're the last Spartan standing, you have the sidekick and the bulldog. You get a thrust with three charges added. They have unlimited ammo. The shield is up by 300%, movement speed 110%. Uh, sprint scaler 110% reload speeds 110% so you have a little bit faster reload and melee recovery speeds 110% so basically you just do everything a little bit faster with 300 shields and unlimited ammo which is like the way to do it because that makes it super fun to play against other players especially you can go on these crazy huge kill streaks where if you're able to line it up properly you can get these crazy like killionaires and more when it, when it comes to these type of modes which actually again adds to the fun of infection it doesn't have to be super balanced or anything it just has to be fun and that's 
one of the great things about this type of mode right here. And also saying that the base infection mode is also getting an update with this uh, refresh here as well. We can see Spartans are actually responding with a VK-78 Commando and a Bulldog with a Threat Seeker instead of a Threat Sensor. The Seeker being the one that can bounce around a wall. And you get three uses with the Seeker compared to previously it was a Threat Sensor with four uses which like stuck to the wall and it was very easy to find players. The Threat Seeker involves a little bit more thought and skill when it comes to how you shoot and stuff like that. Where Alpha Infected, we we'll have an Energy Sword, you have a Shroud Scream with two uses instead of four, 110 movement speed, you know, the previous zombie stuff that we talked about as well. And also updated from 100% camo to 80% camo, so a partial camo when it comes to the Alpha Zombie. And that's really just because it made it really difficult to see a zero um, or completely uh, camouflaged Alpha Zombie, so sometimes you just be playing and just swash, you're dead. Not the most fun experience, right? Obviously. Um, we also talked about the beta zombies here. Basically all the same stuff, but you actually get a quantum translocator with just one use in there. And uh, basically everything else is kind of about the same. Same thing with the last Spartan standing as well. Whereas the equipment from last Spartan standing keeps their existing qu equipment. Unlimited ammo, 300% shields. You get the picture there. And like I stated about the timer, well, that is actually going to be completely removed. And now it's based entirely off of the round's remaining time. So the round will just prematurely end once you become last barn standing because you just want to be able to survive as long as possible because that's fine. That's fine. You're overpowered and get the kill. I'll get a bunch of easy kills. And that's where you're going to want. You don't want to cut that short. You also made some changes to the scoring update, just making it a little bit more fair. So then like there isn't this huge disparity between uh, human players and zombie players and who earns the most amount of points because that directly ties into how much XP you can earn within a single round. So you definitely won't want to, you know, make sure that like that's a little bit more balanced that way, especially. Uh, lastly, we want to talk about as well is definitely going to be the new maps that are in with this as well as the playlist changes as well. So let's get into the Zombie Wonderland, aka all the new maps. We have Cessation, if I pronounce that correctly, right here. Again, the all I looked through all these maps, they are incredibly well forged your copperhead as well this is much more kind of like a kind of a gloomy or kind of like oh I, I get like half-life 2 vibes from this maybe that's just me i don't know uh and also you got homestead which kind of gives you like almost like a classic horror farm kind of feel to it this house right here i mean like this is made in forge dude like this house looks incredible for a forge house i'm just saying just throwing it out there <laughs> uh jotun right here which is kind of like a sci-fi variation of horror put into this right here you also have pipeline which you know see it's pipeline it's a well-made forge map so it has some really cool unique thematic uh maps added to this uh plunderland which i believe this was a halo 5 infection map if i remember correctly Put in the Halo of a pirate themed awesomeness right there. I love the variety of the atmospheres when it comes to the infection modes now. Gus definitely where you can have some fun with the different styles of maps is definitely in infection because it's made for fun. It's not made for balance or crazy, you know, competitiveness. It's made for fun. Stage fright, again, kind of like based off of like a play stage kind of thing. It's just fun, dude. And also it says right here that within the update infection playlist, Alpha Zombies will also be featured on Aquarius, Catalyst, Force, Illusion, Live Fire, as well as Recharge. Now when it comes to playlist changes, there are some things I was a little upset about when it comes to this, where say the Grub Populous mode is now available on more maps in King of the Hill uh, Firefight, and the Quick Play and Firefight King of the Hill playlist have re-weighted re <laughs> based on the player feedback when it comes to their map. So that's a really great rotation right there. They didn't mention this though. And so you didn't see this until you actually go into the like, Halo support page that they actually uh, have re completely removed survive the undead playlist out of the matchmaking experience which was like dude like the Force Falcons worked their asses off to get that in the matchmaking it took us months after the workshop to actually get a chance to play it in matchmaking it was only here for like two weeks and then it's gone it's like I feel like that mode should stay in matchmaking I mean, I did, I'm not sure how popular it was I would assume to be more proper than a regular infection but you know, I guess we that's what they wanted to do with that mode. I would love to see it come back. I didn't really have much time to get a chance to dive in and play it. Uh, so I hope it comes back again around very soon. Keep in mind, we do have the Helldivers mode coming in from the Forge Falcons as well. 
uh, looking like that's going to be coming into uh, a release for custom game browser stuff. If you guys want to jump into that, you know, keep an eye on that. I'll definitely let you guys know here on the channel when it does go live. But there is one game mode I really want to see come back in Halo that was actually made me want to play Infection, which I'm not a huge Infection fan, not much anymore. And that was this mode, Survive the Underground. And this mode was absolutely hilarious and fun i love it because it had like these elevator doors that would close uh that you had to activate and if you didn't get in there in time or too many people you can see here by the gameplay the zombies were then able to pick off the last remaining survivors who were a little too slow to get to the last checkpoint it just added like a little bit more suspense and like high moments compared to low moments where i think currently right now with the alpha zombies just kind of like plain flat experience unless you're the last man standing this heightened kind of experience and excitement where like survive the underground was much more like a uh, map that you would travel through and had like these really intense moments of trying to defend and then run away defend and run away it just helped mix up the gameplay a lot more and i just felt like it's a little bit more interesting especially at the end when you're in this train like <laughs> the some of the kill streaks you're able to go on with this train section is actually kind of absurd uh, so you can find any kind of gameplay of it like if you're able to get this turret you were just slain like crazy. I mean, like, it was Killionaire City, which I think I can imagine as an infected, not being a whole lot of fun, but as the human player, ton of fun, right? <laughs> and if you're able to get to the end, well, then you end up winning the whole thing. The humans win and you rinse and repeat. This is what I would love to see come back, in, especially in Halo Infinite, to see what that forge mode can pull off when it comes to like these kind of journey type maps like we have with say like the infection mode on uh ardent pyre right for that recent infection playlist update like that map was awesome i love the fact it was kind of like traveling through the map to get to different locations to survive like that's freaking awesome i just wish we'd see the same when it comes to halo infinite but again we'd probably take uh you know three months to get that up or probably six months to just get that into the workshop and then another six months after the workshop they actually get in the play some play for two weeks uh like survive the undead i don't know why but hey it is what it is right there but hey infection is up it's live it's been updated it's actually fun now so jump in and play it guys if you like these type of videos make sure to tap like and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out